everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom minecraft maps for 1.16.5 i'm going over every single step of getting these maps downloaded installed and set up in minecraft first and foremost though we do have much more sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own minecraft server you can actually set up custom maps there pretty quickly and easily so be sure to go do that if you want to play custom maps with your friends apex minecraft hosting is the way to go we actually love and trust them so much that we host our own server played our break Breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft hosting. So again, you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server where you can install maps and play them with your friends if you want. Nevertheless, we're here to install some maps in single player. And the first thing you need to do to do that is actually download some maps. Now, if you've already got a map downloaded, awesome. Skip forward just a bit in this video. However, if you don't have a map already downloaded, here's what you can do. You can go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you to our list of 1.16 maps for Minecraft. Now, Sure, we're talking about 1.16.5 here, but pretty much all 1.16 maps are going to work in 1.16.5. So that's why we've set it up this way. So once you're here, all of these maps will pretty much work. Uh, just kind of choose the one that you want. They're all pretty cool. We've got everything from like a Horizon Skyblock Survival style map to, of course, our parkour style maps to even like, you know, adventure style maps right here with adventure, I guess. <laughs> so we're actually going to do that one. I'm going to right click and open these in a new tab because I like to do two of them. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to do, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm trying to find, find the button as always. However, I do notice that this image is broken. Sorry about that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab that and we'll, we'll go ahead and grab a parkour map. We've done Bastion's parkour in previous videos, but we'll do that as well. Anyway, we've opened all these in a new tab, but what we want to do is scroll down and click on this download Minecraft map button. Every download process is going to be unique in some way. So as you can see, this one downloads automatically in the bottom left. Find the button map here. Go ahead and click that. And that one's also automatically going to download in the bottom left. And Bastion's Parkour. Is it going to download automatically? Some of them will take you off to Mediafire or something like that. So you can kind of expect that with some of these. But for this one, we can go ahead and click Download Minecraft Map. And it downloads automatically. Awesome. Means we don't have to go off to Mediafire. So no big deal there. So now if we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have an adventure, I guess. Extreme Kima. K K K Kima, find the button, and then we have Bastion's Parkour. Now, to install all of these, we actually need to extract them all. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to right click, extract all on Bastion's Parkour, and this is with any map you have. If it's a .zip file at the end, or if it's just like this like zip sort of folder here, you need to right click on it and extract all on that file, right? So we're going to do this on all three of these maps here. Once we do that, we have three folders on our desktop now. So as you can see, we now have three folders over here on the light. We have Bastion's Parkour, Extreme Kima, Find the Button, and an Adventure, I guess, right like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and take all three of these and delete the files we downloaded because we have them already on our desktop here, right? We want the folders, we don't want the zip files. So now once we have these, we need to make sure we've got the correct folders out. When we open them, we should immediately see Dim, like folders called dim1, dim-1, things like that. So we can open this up here. We don't see that. So what we want to do is keep clicking until we see data, dim1, dim-1, all of this sort of files here. You might not have all of them, but you should have some of them. Once you see that, go ahead and click the back arrow in the top left and then take this folder right here and drag it to your desktop. We're going to repeat this process with Kimma find the button as well. So we're going to open that up. And again, once we open that up, if we don't see the data and dim1 and all that, we want to click again. Once we do see this, we want to get back one folder and then drag that folder to our desktop. And then we're going to do it one more time with Adventure, I guess. There we go, we see those files. We can go back one and then drag it to our desktop. So now we can delete all of these folders because all of these are the ones we finally need. Now, one more time, let's go ahead and test that. All of the folders that you have for maps on your desktop, and if you're just installing one map, this is a little easier, but all of these, when they're opened up, should immediately see Dim1 data, things like that. Again, it might not be all of these folders, but it should be at least a few of them, and all three of these are good to go. So we go ahead and open up this one, there we go. Now. Let's go ahead and get these installed. It's actually pretty simple. All you want to do is go ahead and click the little windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. So go ahead and click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then you want to type in run. You have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in the text box in this run app, you want to type percent sign, app data, percent sign, percent, app data, percent, exactly like that and hit enter. That's then going to open up our roaming folder, right? Like so. And then in here, you'll find a dot Minecraft folder. Open that up, and then you'll have a saves folder. Go ahead and open up your saves folder. And then in your saves folder, you will have all of the worlds that you normally have in Minecraft. These are all of your single-player Minecraft world saves. Now what we want to do is take all of the custom maps we want to install, all of the Minecraft maps you want to install, and just drag and drop them into this saves folder. 
It's that simple. Now let's check one more time and make sure when we open these, we immediately see these folders. Something like these folders here, dim one, dim dash one data. Again, might not be all of them, but should be some of them. So that one is good. I'm gonna check this one again, and then we're going to check this one again, and we are all good on all three of the maps that we are installing. Again, a lot simpler if you're just installing one map at a time. But now we can go ahead and close out of the save folder. And guess what? It's actually very, very easy at this point. I'm gonna delete those from our desktop. We don't need them anymore. I'm gonna just go ahead and open up our Minecraft launcher here. And we can play vanilla Minecraft, no problem. You want to make sure that Minecraft's closed when you do that, by the way, because it might not recognize the maps if you install them on Minecraft's open. So you, you do need to install them on Minecraft's closed and then open up Minecraft once they are installed. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead, cut to the main menu, and I will see you once we get there. All right, so we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we click on single player, we do have Extreme Kima, find the button. Bastion's Parkour and Adventure, I guess. Now, when you double click on these, it's gonna give you a warning like this. Don't worry about it, just go ahead and click I know what I'm doing. Now, this is a snapshot version, but basically it's built for a snapshot of 1.16. It's still gonna work without any problems. All these have been tested in 1.16.5 if you got them from our website. So as you can see, this map is created. Um, have a good time. So as you can see, you can display spawn points, display deaths. So as you can see, we can we can do that. And um, yeah, basically now it's just having fun parkouring on Bastion's Parkour here. And then obviously um, when we... Um, when we inevitably, there's barrier blocks here. When, when you're trying to fail too early, that's what just happened. I was trying to fail too early. Um, oh man, I just, I'm horrible at parkour. Okay, there we go, boom. And now I believe if we show deaths, it might have spent, sent me back to the spawn point instead of, okay, yeah, we have one death over there. If we run it again, I'm trying to die in places that it's just like, you, sh you shouldn't be able to fail here, Nick, you shouldn't. Okay, there we go. So again, there is another death. So awesome stuff there. That one is working great. It's a cool parkour map. I'm not really here to showcase these maps, unfortunately. Uh, we do have more in-depth showcases on our website, but um, I'm just kind of here to show you how to install them. So that one is working. Let's go ahead and cut to where this world saved, and we'll go ahead and join the next one. So there we go. That world saved, single player, and let's go ahead and do find the button here. Again, we know what we're doing. It is perfectly okay as long as it was built for a 1.16 snapshot or higher. And basically here, as you can see, emerald block is small and gold block is help and uh, oh, I think back here is my information maybe find the button welcome okay so we have to find the button here I don't know exactly where it is uh, on this one I used to I used to know I think on, on this map oh duh it's right there in the front so yeah you kind of just have to go through and find the buttons in all of these maps and that's that's kind of what you do right you just go through and find the button pretty cool map but it is working as we see we hit that last button to get here and it did work I swear it's in the ceiling somewhere that's why I'm Looking, I've played some of this map before, so I kind of do know where some of the locations are. But anyway, not here nor there, or is it on top of a tree? There, there's one where it's on top of a tree and one where it's uh, where it's in the ceiling, so I don't know which one this map is. But, oh, I think it's right there. Let's see. Yeah, right there it is. You see the button? So now we just got to have to press that button. If we, can, if we can jump and hit it, there we go. Boom. This is difficult. No, no, no. Let's go. Okay, so now we've moved on to the next level, so on and so forth. That is cool. Now let's go ahead and move over to the last map here, which I believe is going to be our adventure map. So once we save this, and it does take a while to save a custom map, especially the first time you open it. So don't freak out if this takes a while. That's why I'm keep jug cutting. It is going to save. It just takes it a minute. There we go. It is now saved. We can jump into single player and adventure, I guess. Again, we know what we're doing. We're going to load right on into this. No problem. And this is, as you can see, an adventure style map. It did reload Minecraft there. That was a little weird. But anyway, we now have, oh, it installed its own custom resource pack. That's cool. Single player only. We have 12, 12 truck render distance. Uh, play at 90 FOV. I could set all those settings and I should 100%. But, um, but um, yeah, put the key went in when you are ready. I'm guessing. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and bam. There we go. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Um, ah, yes. Time to relax and play video games. Tip, play on 90 FOV. Hey, we should go to the beams dimension. Let's go in and out. 20 minute adventure. Okay. All right. So go through the portal and your adventure kind of begins, right? So pretty cool stuff. It's actually a really, really cool map and um, definitely worth playing and checking out. But again, we're not showcasing maps here. We're just showing you how to get them. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We truly do make awesome Minecraft content here. Tutorials, all of that stuff every single day. I can't wait to see you in the next one. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.